This is a historic moment for Discovery. It was the first shuttle to ever do this maneuver back on STS-114 in 2005. This RPM maneuver was created in the wake of Shuttle Columbia. That took place back in 2003. It was put into every shuttle mission that has visited the space station since then. It gives the uh, ground teams here in Houston a chance to uh, take a look at the shuttle in detail to make sure that the uh, outer part of the shuttle and the heat shield is as they expect it to be. as Katie Coleman and Paulo Nespoli take these pictures of the underside of Discovery. It's a very methodical way that they do this. They focus on certain areas of the shuttle on the bottom side. Start photo. Station copies. Both Nespoli and Coleman have practiced this several times. They've worked uh, very closely with these two cameras, and they've uh, seen both the diagrams and video of the parts of the shuttle that they need to focus on. Discovery currently 582 feet away from the space station. Station Discovery and photos. Nespley and Coleman have wrapped up their photographs of Discovery's heat shield. They spent 1 minute 29 seconds taking those pictures. As we mentioned, um, they take several hundred pictures between the two of them. Once we get an exact count later on today of how many they uh, took, we will make sure we pass that on to you. Uh, but they will begin the process of downlinking those photos to the ground teams here in Houston soon after Discovery docks.
Discovery putting on quite a show there as uh, it and the space station fly over the northeastern part of South America, about to head out over the Atlantic Ocean. We are now less than an hour away from Discovery's docking.